Hi, these are two extracts from your fall term final exam and I'm going to make this short video about five minutes in order to teach you how to fix at least one of these two sentences and maybe both. The first one that I want to fix is this one which as you can see contains no periods at all except for this little one here at the end and that means that this is that kind of beast called a run-on sentence and we want to fix that. The first thing that we're going to do is put in a comma here and a period here and then we're going to make this a capital letter. We're going to put in a period here. We're going to put in a capital letter here. We're going to take out this comma and we're going to put in a period. We're going to remove the and and we're going to make it a capital letter he. We're going to put a period here. We're going to leave this capital letter. We're going to put a period here. We're going to make this a capital letter. We're going to make this a period, and we're going to make this a capital letter. Now, all of your sentences here are very short, but having short sentences in a paper is no bad thing, and it's okay to write short sentences. Your fourth or fifth grade teacher may have said that you should learn how to write longer sentences using and or but or because, but sometimes it's better to write short sentences and, uh, and really make them as meaty as possible. Now, let's make them a little meatier and maybe we can reduce the number of sentences that you have. We'll take out this let's take Nero, for example, comma, was one of Rome's worst emperors. We can take out this basically, and we can say he did what was best for himself and benefit himself. Now, presumably what was best for himself also benefited himself. So we can take that out. And, uh, and make doing what was best for himself and maybe make his whole li lot, his life a whole lot easier is again a little bit repeti uh, repetitious. So let's take out this and let's use an example from the text. In 66 AD, according to Suetonius, Nero sent men out into the city of Rome to start fires in houses that were in the way of a planned expansion of his palace. So here we have an example of a great world leader, Nero, deliberately starting a fire in the city of Rome in order to make way for his palace. And this is certainly what's doing what's best for himself, and it serves the purpose of supporting your main idea that Nero was one of Rome's worst emperors. He also um, demeaned his officers and um, behaved badly toward their wives. And we can even say specifically his military officers. He would do all the worst decisions that a good emperor would make. I think it was one of the worst things for Rome having Nero as emperor. It did not help anyone. He only helped himself. And the result is that you have a much stronger paragraph that supports your main idea Nero, for example, was one of Rome's worst emperors.